Okay, I know in the in the pre-conference or the pre-webinar survey, we had lots of folks ask us, can they bring CAD data directly into ArcGIS? Mm -hmm. And so can they? Yes, they can. Okay, so. I'm, I'm glad that's the answer. <laughs> so what do you got for your CAD data to begin with? Uh, so here I've just got some CAD data showing parcels, um, so land information with centroids containing attributes in there. I guess I can inspect this. Yes. Show off the uh, data inspector with the background maps going okay. to because um, this data actually knew its coordinate system, so that um, that's yeah. always helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay, whoa, that looks pretty CAD-like. This is Except my data here, yeah. The background map, if you're a CAD person, that background map is distracting. Are you able to turn that off? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, woof, that looks more cad <laughs> um, I'm kind of teasing there, but so what, you can click on some of this stuff, what do you got? So I see here I've got the parcel boundaries here with no real information inside. So. Right, and what about the centroids, if you click on them? And if I select some of the centroids, they have um, attribute information for all the parcels inside. Right, okay. So there's basically line segments and centroids with attributes. Mm -hmm. A typical CAD type of situation in Map 3D. Sometimes you have to go to a database to get the stuff that's on the centroids. FME can yeah. do that as well. Now what do you do to put that together? Because I wouldn't want this in ArcGIS Online like that. No. That would be rather cumbersome, I'd say. Yeah. So what, what, what do you do? So inside my workspace, I have a few transformers to build up the data and uh, bring these attributes in. So for the parcel boundaries, got an area builder to create uh, polygons from those lines. Got it. Uh, just a geometry validator to make sure my polygons are correct and they're all complete. Yep. Uh, then I'm bringing in the uh, centroids and using the point on area overlayer transformer to yep. basically transfer the attributes from those centroids onto the polygons that I've built up. Right. Okay, so actually if you click this little triangle on the area that comes out, yep. then that shows, okay, now it knows a bunch of stuff. Yeah. About that area, including an overlaps okay. count. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's that about? Me, uh, how many centroids were inside each of the polygons? How many are you hoping for? Hoping for one each. Okay. So, and this tester is uh, filtering out anything that had zero or more than one match. So I only get to the ones where overlaps equal one inside here. Right. So what we're doing in this workspace, and this is a typical FME situation, we do some things, and Laura is very confident about her data. And, or she doesn't care when things are bad. Uh, <laughs> because what you could do on this failed one, for example, we could attach, uh, we could route those back to a CAD file and send it back to the technician to fix it. Mm -hmm. um, similarly, if they gave us bad line work that made invalid polygons, we could throw those out and all the incomplete lines, we could throw those back. So there's a, a number of spots in here where we might take the bad data and do something uh, with it. Uh, but we're choosing today to just go with the good. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so now at the end of the line, what are you doing there? So here I'm going to be writing out the features that I've built to ArcGIS Online. So I'm going to be sending these out to a uh, layer up there in my own account. So Laura, could you just show us, we'll, we'll walk through the flow of adding a writer. So what okay. would you do? So we go into writers. So I can add this in just like any other writer. So I search for ArcGIS Online feature service here. Yeah. So it's like my data set. So it's ArcGIS.com. Yeah. And then in parameters, I can enter in my username and password. And then I can decide which feature service I'd like to write out Got to. it. Got it. All right. So that's what people would do. And then after that, it's just the same as writing to a database or any or even a file. It's, yeah, it's the same. Pretty much. So you just create so feature type. Yeah. Now, is this right now on your ArcGIS Online, is it all empty and um, without any parcels? Or what's our situation? Yeah, I can show you here. Uh, so right now, I just have some buses and road hazard layers. OK. So nothing to do with parcels at the moment. So. So are you going to be so bold as to try to create this now? Yeah, let's try okay. this out. So I'll just run the workspace, and that'll create a layer called parcels inside my ArcGIS Online account. So it'll take a second to run. It's about 1,500 features. So. Okay, so now it's um, actually sending the data up there mm -hmm. for the first time. So we, we did all the work of spinning those things. Oh, and at there the end go. it gives me some numbers and tells me well, actually, I can see that we leaked some features here oh, because, yeah. um, what, 66? 66 failed because I can see 1570 minus 1504. They went out the failed, but the failed was ignored, so we won't worry about that for today's demo. Yeah. The, the, so the input data is a little bit bad. Perfect, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your data is not perfect. I know that for all the people out there watching, their data is perfect, so they wouldn't right. have that problem. So yeah. now, now what do we do? So I can go back to my ArcGIS Online account. So I'm logged in here. Just refresh and see. And we should see, yeah, the parcels oh, layer added. That's a relief. <laughs> okay, and so now what do you do with that feature service? So I can take a look at it. So I can open that up in a brand new map here. So this is my feature service right here. Add to new map. And we can take a look and see how it looks. 
take a second to open up, and there it is. In beautiful Austin, Texas. Thanks, Austin, Texas, for this data. This data is from about 15 years ago, <clears throat> so, um, but nonetheless. And if you click on stuff, can you see attributes? Yeah, so I can select any of these polygons, and I can see all the attributes that I've added in from those centroids. Okay, so that's just a simple example of taking data from really any of the FME formats, and there's like 300 of them, doing a little bit of transformation, adding it up in a feature service. Now you could schedule this to do, for example, as um, Scott was suggesting, if a new CAD file arrived in a directory, we could fire it up and off we go. Mm -hmm. and truncating the table to go first, or maybe doing updates. I know you're going to do all these things before we're all done our demos. Yeah, that's right. 